Now that we have some ideas, let's figure out how to make them work. It's art time! With Mr. Mayberry. Let's get busy! Welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. Last week we tried to come up with as many ideas for inventions as we could. This week I'd like you to take one of those ideas and then we're going to draw a larger picture of it, giving it more detail and describing what the parts and how it works. So let's get started. It's time to make some art. Okay, I hope you've kept your paper from last week. Um, what we do have to do first, or need to do first, is to narrow down your ideas to one. Pick out one um, of your invention ideas, and that's the one that you'll use for the project today. Now, as you can see, I uh, kept mine top secret until now. I'm going to finally reveal the invention that I chose. And it is the Tychulator 3000. This is, this is my invention. Now, when you do a nicer drawing of your invention, then you'll, I'm going to give you some things that I would like you to do. Uh, first of all, you can turn your paper whichever direction fits the invention the best. Like mine fit better on a vertical uh, direction of the paper. If, you, if yours works better horizontally, you can turn your paper that direction. But there's going to be five things that I want you to include on this picture. And of course we want to make it look as nice as you possibly can. The first thing is a name. You need to come up with some type of a name for your invention. Um, try to be clever with that or be creative with that. Come up with something that may somehow describe what it is or uh, something that might, in this case I use part of the what it is in the name, the tie culator, and uh, my invention was one that I talked about last week that combines two existing things. So I'm, I'm combining a tie with a calculator, um, and so in my I did some kind of, I did some fancy lettering here for the name. So that's the first thing you want to do is product name, but think of some fancy way to do your letters. I was able to include a tie in as a letter I in that, but do something nice with your letters. Make them larger. Uh, make it stand out, make it something that would attract people's attention to this uh, to this artwork. Okay, the second thing you'll need is a picture of your invention. So make a nicer, larger picture of your invention. Last week we were working with thumbnail sketches, just a quick idea on paper. Now we're taking that and we're making it nice, make it look nicer. Okay, so uh, that's the second thing you need, you need to include is the a picture of the invention. The third thing is you need to label the parts. Now in this case I have uh, labels that tell what, what it's made out of and then also the parts of it. So you'll, you'll label everything that has to do with the invention. The different parts it has, maybe what it's made out of, uh, those kind of things. Like here, uh, comes in clip-on or tie-on version. So you have two different designs you can choose from and one is a clip-on and one is a, an actual one where you tie it. Um, so that, that was the first thing I wanted to make known. And then um, the second thing here, it's, it's made out of 100% silk in a variety of colors, solids and patterns. So I'm describing um, what it's made out of and what kind of a variety you can get that in, the colors and, and patterns. And then here is the, the working part of the invention. Um, so I have a label here that is, explains this is a patented upside down keypad, keypad and screen. It makes it patented upside down keypad and screen makes it usable while being worn. So the idea is that the person wearing it can look down at it and lift up the end of the tie and do your calculations on it. And there's a screen right there. Um, so that's part of what's being labeled, the keypad and the screen. And then here I have a solar cell. So I put, it's solar cell powered. So that's what that makes it operate. It doesn't need batteries, it, it just uses a solar cell. So that's the second thing is to label, or the third thing is to label the parts. And then the fourth thing is to include a price tag. How much do you think your invention should cost? In mine, I put retails at $29.99. A lot of times you'll see on price tags, it's they they take off one penny, so it makes it sound like it's largely uh, less expensive, but all they do is take off one penny. So instead of $30, it's $29.99. So I followed that kind of a, a trick that the uh, 
different people will use when they're selling things. And then uh, the fifth thing is a description. So down at the bottom, I just wrote a simple description of what it is, what it does. So this is a tie that works as a calculator. So that explains explains the whole uh, concept right there in, in just a brief sentence. You could have one or two sentences to describe what it is, what it does. And so this is what we are doing for today is I want you to list those five things or do those five things. Have a, your product name, the picture, a nice picture of the invention, that's number two. Number three, label the parts. Number four, include a price tag. How much are you, you think it would be worth to sell it if you were going to sell it? And then number five, a description of what it is and what it does. So this is the project for today, an invention drawing. Well, that's all for today. If you'd like to show me your invention, just scan it and paste it in the comments below. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. I'll see you later. Hi, bye.